red here, red here against uh, yellow. But we also have, uh, we also are red here, I'm sorry, against uh, teal. So a format change here for teal. You can see this. Changing up, getting a gain that back line here. Uh, let's check our upgrades right now. Wow, that disruptor shot just absolutely blew up almost all those Marines in the center. Insane play. A little bit glitch, glitching out here. Getting crazy. We've got the two stacked up here and back. That was a ping from Jason. Maybe suggesting that they uh, re... Yep, it looks like they're going to reorient from that little stack spot. This is too many Marauders. 1-1 one, one Marauders against uh, this base Stalkers is not going to go well. That's going to be some damage. We're going to chip away at the shield just a little bit. It's a lot of bio in this game. Coming down and through. All right. Well, so far, no gases have been dropped. There hasn't been really significant pressure um, on either side. Right now, the advantage is going over to the squirters who have maintained this mid control ever so slightly. And that's all it takes. It's just this little slight control. Right now, red is really struggling to get through. And I just really feel like a wave of zealots would be so beneficial, but I think that they're going to choose to continue on with these, uh... They're going to choose to continue on with the Stalkers. Moving forward, they need this to actually do some damage here. Oh, it's taking a lot of damage. The Photon Cannon is down to 5, down to 4. 4.30, and it will be saved. And these storms are going to be huge. Storm disruptor shot archons? Are you kidding me? It's like a recipe for bio for bio being absolutely crushed. Towards right now, damage coming through from this cannon is pretty good. It's gonna help, that's for sure. Now, is this gonna be enough to survive here? That's the question. The adepts do continue to have some survivability. If they can last a long enough time to get these two to stack up, that would be ideal, but it just doesn't seem like that's quite able to happen. I mean, it's crazy. Zealots have 150, like they soak quite a bit. Especially when you get an armor upgrade. Upgrades here for pink are one, one. We have one, one for yellow as well. And we are going for three. Tier two upgrades. Yellow, teal, and pink all have decided it's time for tier two. These disruptors are crushing it for orange. Orange is doing such a great job just countering bio as hard as possible. Some damage here potentially onto the photon cannon. 382 down to 328. Shots continuing to fire 210. That immortal was getting some pops off. And we need to see Pew Power really locked us up to turn this around. Right now, it's just not enough survivability. The waves are ending far too quickly. See, these zealots come forward and they just, I mean, I know that it's already a beaten army, but man, they come forward, they just soak so much. Even against this many, even against this many, there's a good three seconds. And I think that may be all, all it takes. In this case, though, this is gonna be really rough. Up to two. You can see here that the second attack upgrade. And here is a potential answer. The ghost. And when I say potential, I meant that because it looks like they were gonna have a bunker go down. 50, 210, 138, one, zero, done, out.
attack is coming through pink trying to do a pretty good job now we do have the stack starting to happen with these stalkers which is what they what they needed but we'll have to see if it's actually going to end up being enough gas down for pink gas down for blue gas down for red up top we have a gas down for teal nothing and nothing so actually the losing team the team that lost the bunker ends up all dropping a gas yellow in a concave teal and yellow are stacking up medevacs and this is going to make this even more potent as the pressure continues from the squirters moving into a bunch of stalkers Almost a, almost a blink there from the uh, Pew Pew Prince. Got the first one off, not the second one, though. And that's uh, some great micro. As soon as that's over there's those units, using that to uh, blink backwards and make sure that they don't get um, one shot. We're going to see Red also going for the Tier 2 upgrade to unlock some more upgrades to get access to some more units. Right now, it's looking pretty strong for team squirters who are putting on a lot of pressure the stack is now the, the, there is a stack here I don't know if it's enough this is a very potent little death ball right here well played those uh, you can see it. They don't. They don't have those turned on right away. So the disruptor balls, the disruptor shots are coming out a little bit late. And that's what you want to do. You want to wait till there's a nice big stack of units. These stalkers are really starting to stack up. They've gone up to the upgrades at two two. Disruptor shots from pink now as well. But we do see some siege tanks in the back line. I would not be surprised to see some Colossus potentially hit the field, just given how much bio is out here. But at the same time, it could also be pretty detrimental. What on? What the tank? What are you doing? It went all the way around over here! From like where? What? That pathing was nuts. Continuing to move forward here. Disruptor attack. These storms are savage. They aren't against bio though. These storms in this situation, they are going against a Protoss that can't regenerate shield, but they have to get some, of, they have to get out of combat to do so. And that does not look like that's going to happen anytime soon. Huge stack of siege tanks over on the right side of the screen. And this could be incredibly detrimental, especially if this stack continues forward. We may be seeing a very quick game number one here. Under 15 minutes. Nothing protecting these tanks. But this is going to seesaw. All these are going to be able to close in on them slowly but surely. And that's what we see happening. So it's an even trade, actually. Surprisingly, the siege tanks all go down except one. Nice blink backwards. Great blink back from Pew. Bio ball coming in. Wow, those disruptor shots are pretty good. Now it takes a while for these to charge up. You can see here down in the bottom, is that gonna get there in time? Those shots could be huge if they're able to do it. And yes, they do get off in time. And that gets a nice little chunk of damage there in the center. That could be enough. They are fighting back towards mid. Will they be able to do it? There are a ton of medevacs out here. These storms are huge and absolutely destroy the bio. The bio will have such a hard time, but there are still medevacs. There's still shots being fired. This siege tank, will it survive? No. Two immortals versus the siege tank. I wonder who wins. Big blink forward. 
big blink forward here. Killing this army, great decision making, and now moving forward into the bio. These immortals are gonna have to do massive amounts of damage against both the marauders and the siege tanks, but these siege tanks, this grouping over here is just too savage. Attacks move forward towards left side. And they, they're fighting, I mean, they, they fought, they're holding on, right? Pew Pow is holding on. They're doing a great job of utilizing Micro, doing what they need to, to try to continue pushing towards mid and back onto the side of Team Squirters, but it's just not enough. If you look at the income here, you can see second gas just dropped there. Second gas dropped a little while ago for Gash. One, one, and one apiece. And those are all profiting full. Pointing out the ghost there. Bio versus bio, tank versus tank, T versus T. There's just so many medevacs out here. Can they clear the wave of medevacs? Because those are stacking up, giving a lot of uh, a lot of extra utility. But it doesn't matter. This orange, this bio ball, this death ball is so strong. The blink backwards. Continuing to uh, force out from the shots, the uh, disruptor balls that are coming out. We'll see when somebody wants to go up to that tier three. Towards front, damage coming through. It's just so tough. The siege is there. The siege is here constantly. We need to see some kind of an ability. And there it is. We see the tier three right here on Teal. Teal going up for Liberators is gonna go for that tier three, is gonna get the expanded range from the tier three. And these are gonna sit behind. They're gonna continue to put on the pressure. This is a great play and it's gonna be very, very difficult for Pew Power to come back from that. Once those get out there, that's gonna be rough and it's actually gonna happen just in time. Watch, there it is. You see that as soon as tier three finishes, they get the upgrade and they're gonna be able to see from so far away and there's nothing that Red's gonna be able to do. There's only two Void Rays over here. Will they be enough to get through? There's already Vikings out for Teal as well to try to deal with this. And you can see, look at these Liberators. Having a field day, one goes down. Second one goes down, still two alive. And uh, they have called GG. So that will be game number one going in favor of Team Squirters.